Well, maybe you're like me, you hate needles. But to be vaccinated, we all got to get those shots. So Mike M says, why no nasal vaccine? Is it possible? Is it in the works? It's a very good question. Uh, both nasal vaccines and oral vaccines are being investigated and they make a lot of sense. Dr. Gregory Poland, vaccine research team Mayo Rochester. He says, though, for now, our only choice, those shots. And I know, you know, nobody likes needles, but uh, believe me, getting one or two injections of a vaccine is nothing compared to the number of needle sticks if you get sick or are hospitalized or in an ICU. All right, good reality check there, Dr. Poland. But what if you have trypanophobia, a phobia of needles? Here's what I learned. And about one in 10 actually has a phobia. Dr. David Chessire, psychologist, UF Health Jacksonville. He also says one in five people gets really nervous around needles. They're not phobic, but it's bad enough they might skip the vaccine. So he has two tips. First, coach up coach up over and over tell your brain positive thoughts this won't be so bad and then i'll be vaccinated and i'll be able to get back to my life and second take action by distraction some people will whistle or hum and don't look certainly you don't want to be staring at your shoulder while they're giving it to you so look away don't watch it I tell you, that helps me. I think he's right. I always close my eyes, always, always. And this is cool. A quote Dr. Cheshire likes from a George Clooney movie. Courage is a funny thing. First, you have to do the thing that scares you the most, and then the courage comes afterward. So, Mike, thanks. Great topic. I hope this helps.